Imagine your smartwatch flashlight refusing to turn off, or your weather glance giving you the wrong temperature right before a hike. Frustrating, right? Well, Garmin users have been dealing with these kinds of quirks, but something new just dropped that might change the game. Garmin just released a fresh beta update for its Instinct lineup, and it's not just another patch. It directly fixes problems that have been bugging users for months, and one of these fixes could be a game changer for runners. Stick with me, because I'll reveal that key update in just a moment. So, here's the breakdown. The new beta version 10.36 is now live for the Instinct 3 AMOLED, Instinct 3 Solar, and the Instinct E smartwatches. First up, Garmin tackled a glitch with the broadcast heart rate function. Before, it didn't work as expected when launched through a hotkey. That's now fixed. Next, if you own the AMOLED or Solar version, you'll be glad to know the flashlight bug is gone. Before, the strobe lights sometimes stayed on even after ending an activity. Super annoying. That's no longer an issue. For the Solar and E models, there's also a fix for Connect IQ data fields not showing properly in glances. Plus, Garmin solved the problem where weather glance temperatures were off, meaning your watch now gives more reliable real-time data. But the most important fix it's one that specifically affected the Instinct 3 Solar, and it's been driving runners nuts. I'll get to that in just a second. Here's the big one. The update finally resolves a bug where the Instinct 3 Solar would crash whenever users tried to pair a running dynamics pod. That means smoother training sessions and no more sudden shutdowns during setup. The Beta 10.36 update is rolling out now over the air through the Garmin Connect app, and it's also available via Garmin Express. So, what do you think? Are these fixes enough to keep Garmin ahead of the pack? Or are you waiting for bigger feature upgrades? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the latest wearables.